Hello and welcome to E72M. Today I am back with some more Endro, and just before we start I'd like to thank you all for 132 subscribers and 4,000 views. So it means so much, and if you aren't already subscribed, then please consider subscribing, as it will help us out. And if you watched the last episode, you might realise I'm a bit further on, I just kind of walked down the path, and the recording messed up, so this is where we are. Um, I can't remember if I looted the whole place or not. Let's see. It does four damage, it does five. Um, it looks like I may well have looted the place. Or at least most of it. So... Right. I think we should see what's in here. Because I noticed this before. And... Well, there could be some good loot in here. Okay, so, um, there's some iron ore and some leather strips. And there is also an iron dagger. Useful. And some nails. He's also got some spare parts and other stuff in here. Oh, yes! chest. There's like nothing in it. Useful. Isn't it? Is there anything upstairs? Um. Come on, I did like nothing. So let's just kill them. Oh, we got this. I've got pretty good combat skills, as you can see. There's like nothing up here. <laughs> Where is there? Um, there's nothing on them really. I could take their stuff, I guess. Some ambrosia. An iron shield, boots, and an axe. That'll be useful. And where is it? Iron axe. That does do more damage, so. I think I'll use that, and then we did get a shield, so I think I'll use that as well, and I'll equip the boots and drop those. Okay, and of course I want the fermented goat's milk. Uh, let's just set up our numbers. So I think if we do that, then save. What was that? Whatever, is there anything in here? Ah! I doubt it. No, it's just a wall. There's a chain here. Ooh! Okay. Um, got a man potion and a magical symbol and a chest with that in it. Great. Uh, spider prey. Ooh, they have. Pull lock picks on them. Hope I'm going the right way. <coughs> what was that? Where did those even come from? Ah! I got killed by a ghost. Or not. There's a lot of dangers here. Is there any more rocks going to come down for us? No. Okay, I think it's probably safe-ish now. There's a nice little path. There's something over there. Whatever could it be? There's a chest. Some coins and a lockpick in. Perfect. And also some stuff. Wait, hang on, who are you? Come on, where did he even come from? Stupid eye way back. I'm always just get up close and personal, aren't you? This world. No respect. First those guys over the campfire get shot and this guy comes for me. It's no respect at all. That's still falling after me. 
Oh, and then there's grass floating in the air. And, uh, this is going horribly. <laughs> What's this? Alright, let's be prepared. There's another magical symbol. And for once there's like no one around. But I did get a lantern that could be useful. Um, do you think anyone's gonna miss this cow? I don't. Oh no, I, I, um, the cow was pretty strong. There's more health than that spider. I didn't even drop anything. It's just, um, and then run. I think we're being charged on by a cow. Oh, let's take those, well, paralyzed butterflies. They saw me attack the cow and they're just like, nah, I'm out. Come at me, wolf. I've killed them. thousands of your kind before. I think I can handle myself. I'm not a deer, you know. I can fight back. I'm a coastal deer stalker. What if you get like forest deer stalkers and like country deer stalkers and stuff in this? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and quickly. Use that and then wreck it. Perfect. And look, there's actually some loot here, I guess. And some. Water. Oh, the cow's back! There's a kind of thatch hut up there by the looks of it. Uh, right, I say we quick save. Because I'm getting paranoid about my save messing up again. And also my recording. And then. Let's just scale this and annihilate any highwaymen that may be up here. Hopefully though it's peaceful and like, they'll just give us stuff. One could hope. <laughs> no, nope. it, it's a highwayman and it's a woman. Okay. Um, that makes sense, whatever. Right, he's shooting her, her in the back. Right. He's probably gonna get the finish. Ah! Oh, no! Okay. Fucking piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Language. Wow, that was offensive. My younger viewers would be incredibly offended at that kind of language. Do I have any younger viewers? I don't know. Whatever. Um, let's just pick up this stuff. Ooh, what is that? One handed attacks do more damage. Perfect. That's a mage light book. Um, there we go. And that looks about it. So, where am I supposed to go now? There's two markers when there was only one before. Alright. Um, what's what house? Is this a village? Should I go in on the path if it is a village? Do I ruin the immersion? I think it might actually be the village because you may have noticed my frames have dropped quite a bit now. Um, <laughs> oh no. It's fine, as long as I don't crash when I talk to someone. Hey, you there! Yes, you! Oh, no. Do you want to know a secret? No, I don't care. Well, I found mean? something. Something really, oh, really did awesome. You now? But I need help from somebody as tall and strong as you. I think he's going to stop you? me. I show you what I mean, it and like you he's, promise uh, to help me in return. Me. What do you say? And he's like, fine. <laughs> Why exactly are you asking me and not your parents? I'm a complete stranger. It could be dangerous. Awesome! Nah, I knew you'd say yes! Him. Come, follow me! Right. Let's just... Come 
on. Okay, then you tell me I can't just like stop this kid. Look at him. He's like all derpy and everything. Is that your secret there? Look, I found this yesterday when I was searching for shells. Okay. Awesome, isn't it? I, I guess it is. Yes, and you know what? It's really a casket, is it? It's a strong box. You can hear a rattling, as if there are coins in it. All we need to do is break it open. Then we can right. split the loot. And I could give Daddy the money for the pointy beard man. The pointy so what do you beard think? Man. I've already tried to open it, but Don't it just won't budge. Know. Right. Sure. sure let, let's not even ask about the pointy beard man. Let's just... Uh... <laughs> Seems like that worked. There? there are... Hmm. Oh, come on. What is that? There aren't any pennies. Only these weird nails and a piece of paper. Weird nails. Here, though. take a look for Someone's yourself. Someone's finger clipping is what you said there. <laughs> Read the old note. Okay. Day and night it stands there, sublime, proud, full of power, giving blessings in time of need on our path until we die. So, like so does it say anything? A, a poem? poem? Hmm, what if it's a riddle? That's what you grown-ups call it, don't you? What does it <laughs> say exactly? A blessing in distress? What? That... Just read out the whole thing, it's oh, four sugar. lines. Why do you grown-ups always have to talk so complicated? That is... What do you mean? It's like, Wait, what are you doing? You're struck in the Father air. Father Vildas the priest, he always head. talks about blessings at the sermons. Maybe, maybe the writer no is talking about talking the shrine. About. The one behind our house. Quickly, you should go take a look over there. I have to go All back right, to kid, the farm we'll to feed that. the leers, but tell me at once if you find later. anything. I'll be back later, I guess. Is there anything else on this beach? I mean, I, I may as well check if they find that. Why not just quickly go back and check around behind this tree? Not nothing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> There's got to be something around here. One of these days I'll find. It. Oh well. <laughs> Look here. I have found a grave, which I apparently can rob. I didn't actually realise that. I just kind of went to the lichen, but whatever. Let's take some of this stuff. I must TP scroll to Riverville. Nice. I've also got a book, so... Where is it? There it is. My block has gone up. Nice. Um... Right, let's go talk to this guy's childhood friend. Or something like that. You can tell I'm approaching him because I'm getting deeper into the town. And the deeper I go, the less frames I seem to get. I struggle to follow any kind of path, it turns out. I, mean, I thought I was good at following paths, but no. Nah, look at me. Alright. He's over there. Come on, just make that a path. I need a path here. Oh, look, I've only just found the town I've been in for, like, the past two minutes. Um, uh, who are you? I'm just uh, Yellow, I... Uh, <laughs> this is about his death, isn't it? Uh, the rampage. I feel like this guy's going to be very knowledgeable. Of course, who hasn't? Yero was one of us, after all. It is... Terrible. Gonna keep Simply back terrible. Forth, isn't it? Uh, you want to hear an old man's opinion, though? I I always expected that something like this would happen. Malthus, forgive me for talking about a keeper like that, but it's the truth. Hard keeper. to explain, really. Come on, uh, let's find somewhere to sit. Uh, it'll be easier to talk that way. No, it won't. What does sitting have to do with talking? Alright, let's just sit here then. I mean, it wasn't hard to find, was it? Well, Yarrow. Yarrow. Next path. That's quite a subject, you know. 
You were right when you said we were best friends. See we Our fathers we knew each other. For as long as I can remember, well, Yero and I friend. were getting into trouble this together. Friends, at least friend. until his mother died. No. Bandits killed her in was broad murder. daylight on, on Penny Road. Today Penny these Road incidents are common, but not back then. The road was considered safe. Very safe. She was on her well, way to Park, accompanied by three other women, and they were set Ark. upon at the pass. Uh, None I'm of not them sure if I've been told anything about Ark before, but Yarrow was shattered, I'm guessing I think that's the worst so part was place. how his father went downhill after his wife's death. The fishery Eagle decayed. The poor guy filled his days with boozing and sleeping. It changed Yero forever. Changed well, him that's forever. a good question. A different man. On the one hand, he became a man, despite his tender age. On the other hand, something oh, inside nice. him woke up, so to speak. A desire to mm. make more of his life. Old Mother Jenica noticed it and took him under her wing. He learned how to read and write, and soon he knew all the holy verses by heart. Wow. When he didn't have to help his drunken That's father, great. he helped in the village as much as he could. He transformed his grief into productivity. Sounds like a rather positive Indeed, development. Indeed, that's one way to look at it. It wasn't long before he was the, the jewel of the village. The striving young Ooh. fisherman destined for great things, even again. though he was only on the great. path of a manufacturer. And then the inevitable happened. A keeper of the order came to Riverville to see the prodigy with his own eyes. And behold, in addition to Yero's ingenuity, he also had a slumbering magical talent. <gasps> the keeper took him away, and a few months later, he started his novitiate. I, Since then, I don't have a I've only seen him once or twice, as he rarely visited Riverville. I, I don't think he ever noticed how much that hurt me. He doesn't care. Um, this looks oh, like it's hard to explain. I believe it was the way he was talking about his grand plans. How he wanted to make the world a better place. To become the greatest keeper since Lorem Waterblade. Underneath all this, there was a, there was an anger, don't know an anger of. mixed with deep grief and disappointment. Uh, I don't think he was aware of it because he drew all his strength from that anger, the strength to do all this, to, to learn and to work day and it night. It really does but just. Like, it frightened me, like the Blue Death. Talk. It slumbers inside the pathless mage who believes he can master magic without the Order's help. At first, it grants power, but then, one day, it bursts out in an unholy wave of destruction, turning him into one of the monsters in the old songs. No one knows what you're talking about. Just shut up. Please. Anyway, I'm just an old man. What do I know about these matters? You no. Know. Now let me go to sleep. Just told me like All these everything memories written down in are the making me weary. Go, what do I know? No, not thanks yes, for your help. Of course. All right, so we've arrived at Yarrow's house. Um, I think what we should do is go and loot his house. So there's nothing in there. Um, there is a. Ah! Ah! Rats these days. Oh, look, there's a door that's locked. It's just perfect. Right. There we go. And that is how you do it. Nice. Lots of stuff. It's perfect. Drawer box is locked. Let's see if I can do it again. There it is. 
Um, oh, nice. A ring and a necklace. So, mana and lock picking is easier. Well, oh, and some boots of the well travelled one. I think I should start thinking of what I'm wanting to do with my character, because at the moment I just kind of swing a mace at rats and wolves that attack me. Yeah, it's not exactly heroic, is it? Ooh, we get some pea weed and some rotten garlic. Um, some spoiled cheese, some knives and hammers and shovels from barrels. Hang on a second. Can I just... Right, where's that shovel gone? Right, if I go and drop that shovel, I'm pretty sure that this shovel is taller than that barrel, and I'm right. How did they fit it in there? There's a hand there just chilling. Why? That's how you do it. Alright. Disciplines of magic, I've read it now. Now I know how to do magic properly. Um, Alright, so I think we're going to have to call it a day here. The next episode should be out sooner than the last one. Uh, or than this one, sorry. And, well, I guess that is it for today. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment to let me know what you liked about it. And if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.